This is terrifying to me. Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle and this is Elle's Reptiles. This week, I'm super, super excited because we are going to be testing Reptilinks with our reptiles. Reptilinks, if you are not already familiar with them, they make whole prey item sausages for reptiles. Sounds super weird, but they are very nutritious and they already have the correct amounts of vitamins and minerals in those as well. So it's just one thing that you can just feed them all at once. Just to preface this, I am not being paid to say anything. They did not pay me any sum of money for this video. I feel like that always has to be said in videos. They did send me these reptile sausages for free to try them out with the animals. And really quick, before we get started, if you do happen to order Reptilinks, make sure to use my code here, L, and then you can save $5 off of that order. Let's get started. So these were obviously mailed to me, but you can also get them at Petco. I don't know if that's everywhere or just here, but I saw that Petco has them too. Fun fact, when we redid our shed into a workout room, we had saved a bunch of insulation from rat shipments, and there's a bunch of that insulation in our shed walls. So, saving money. That is dry ice. So far, I was already super impressed with the shipping because all this stuff is like rock solid frozen still. Okay, so we have... Oh, that's very cold. An omnivore blend. A 50-50 omnivore. Omnivore blend. Frog. Quail. These are mini plus. Quail and rabbit. More dry eyes. And this should be um, African soft for fur scenting. Scenting um, juice. I, uh, scent spray. A lot of people that have issues with getting their ball pythons to eat, this is something that can help with that. A lot of times if ball pythons are having a hard time eating, they will eat African soft furs, which that's not a rodent that's very easily accessible. So something like a scenting spray can help with that. You just spray this on whatever mouse it or rat that they're eating and it entices them to eat that. This is super cool. Next, we need to thaw them out. I actually got this package right before Thanksgiving and so I was not home to actually immediately give them to the animals, but then I put them in the freezer. So we still need to thaw them out. So I was given this instruction sheet about how to thaw the links out and how to feed them and what to do if they don't take them immediately. So this says to just thaw them out like on a counter. So that is what we're going to do, except for obviously I don't need this many. So I'm just going to kind of gently pull them apart, break them apart so I can just get one or two of each one and thaw them out separately in these little bags. And then I just labeled the bags with a Sharpie so that way I knew what it was in the future once it was all thawed out. My little sausages. Also, one thing that I absolutely love about these is that each one has an ingredients list at the top and it tells you exactly what is in each link. Like even down to, instead of just rabbit, it tells you what exact type of rabbit is in these links. The really big ones that you see are actually supposed to be for the corn snake, the rabbit and quail. But I did go ahead and thaw out two additional ones for the ball pythons. Just a heads up, these are not guaranteed for ball pythons to eat. Ball pythons are obviously very picky. It is not guaranteed that they will eat these, but I wanted to just try it. But anyway, spoiler alert, they did not eat them. The 50-50 is for Zaz and Morty, the blue tongue skink. The quail is for the king snake and the frog is for the hog nose. But I did end up not giving the quail to the king snake. Instead, I ended up giving him one of the frog mini plus. Yeah, I'm just excited. I've never tried these before. Oh, I've never tried them before. My animals have never tried them before. I've seen them around for a while and I'm super excited to see if the animals will eat them and if they like them because mostly my blue tongue skin here I would love to get him on a whole prey sort of diet he is very very picky I'm super excited to see how this goes this and let's see if he will eat it please don't bite me okay he grabbed it exactly how he wasn't supposed to so let's see if he eats it Oh, he's gonna take it somewhere now. Where are you going? Let's see. 
He really tried, but he just could not understand how to eat this. So I did end up taking it out of the casing for him. And he really, really liked this. I ended up feeding him two whole 50-50 links. Or he's still very much enjoying his. I did end up trying to give him the second one in the casing just to see what would happen and he would not eat it until I took it out. So I ended up taking both of them out, but he thoroughly enjoyed it out of that casing. But fast forward to a week later, even though he is shedding, he was very much into the Reptilinks in the casing, which was super shocking to me. He ran across his tank to grab this Reptilink for me. I almost didn't even have time to pull my camera out because he was so excited about it and he just kind of chewed it a little and just swallowed it which honestly made me so very nervous um but it works and he's fine and <laughs> look at that it went down super super easy casing and all Moving on to Zaz, she is in and out of brumation right now, so I didn't really expect her to want to eat these. She did end up eating a tiny little bit. However, I do feel like this is probably a very solid option when your bearded dragon does get out of brumation. I know we've talked on this channel before about making sure that they're eating a very soft food, and I feel like this is going to be good for that because it's giving them all their nutrients, like their predetermined amounts of vitamins and stuff in these little links. I feel like taking it out of the casing and giving it to them after brumation is probably a very solid choice. And of course, as Zaz usually does, I did not get her to eat this on camera. But as I went to film Morty, I was going back and forth filming them. You can see she has food on her face because she did end up eating like two bites of this. And that is all that she would eat for the day. I have plenty of these, so I'm going to try again when she is out of brumation. But for right now, she did enjoy a little bit. So I feel like that's a win for her. Scared me, sir. I know, I know, you're so angry at me. Osiris was very angry during this entire interaction. Um, I realized farther into this that he was shedding because his eye was blue and that's why he was so angry. He's good now. Despite him hissing at me and striking at me and literally chasing me out of his tank, he actually did end up eating this, which is very shocking because he was so angry I did not expect him to want to eat. You just come to hiss at me? I don't want to get too close because he's going to get really hissy again. It's like it's a little wide for his mouth, so next time I'll probably do the Frog Mini Plus because it's the same amount of food, but it's skinnier. Look pretty. Look at you not chasing me away now. I forgive you. I forgive you. Do, do, do. Thanks for not huffing up at me anymore. You just were grumpy because you were shedding. You're so pretty. You're such a pretty boy. Now you're hungry because you shed. So I did end up going with the Frog Mini Plus for the King Snake because his mouth is smaller than the hog noses. And I knew that if the hog nose had a hard time getting that size length down, then the King Snake would as well. So instead of going with the quail, I went with the Frog Mini Plus. And you can see how interested he is in this until he notices that I'm there and we both just get startled. So I ended up, cause he ran, I ended up just having to leave this in overnight and I came back and it was gone. You can also see that his eyes are foggy too. That frog link thing is gone. So even after he was startled, he still came back to eat it, which is awesome. And there is his shed. So his eyes were foggy because he was also shedding. I don't understand why all of them just happened to be shedding at the same time, but that's where we're at. And the corn snake is also shedding and does not want to take anything because he's shedding. You can kind of see his eyes a little hazy there as well. I actually ended up just leaving it to see if he would take it. He wouldn't. Um, I even punctured it to see if he'd take it. He wouldn't. As I am editing this video several weeks later, he just now is shedding, like right now as I'm doing this voiceover. So I'm going to try to get him to eat a smaller one. Maybe that It'll help but my hopes are not up because shedding he's right there but he is actively shedding as you can see so that might pose a bit of a problem 
And that is it. That is all that I have for this week's video. Hopefully it was helpful if you're thinking about getting Reflinks or you just want some other sort of food item to throw into your animal's rotation. As we know, variety is everything for reptiles, giving them a variety of different foods, especially snakes who we really can only give rodents and sometimes chickens that is helpful to be able to throw in thank you another thank you to repti links for sending me these things to try out with my animals you are so very appreciated if you have not already please feel free to follow me on my socials and like subscribe and hit that bell for notifications every single time i put on a new video which is every sunday and some wednesdays this week's instagram shout out is here this week's subscribe shout out is here thank you so much for liking and following subscribing and commenting and sharing and all that jazz you are the bee's knees thank you so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic day bye so, yeah, really quick, five dollars off of that. It's blah. And now we can keep all these separate ones there. Oh, look at that! Smeared everywhere. Love that. All right, I guess moral of the story: love you and dry.